Uh, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Hakodash Raka. I'd like to say double honors to the Elders Apostles of Great Millstone and peace and salutation to the Aki, the elect, that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, um, just read across an article, man, in the spirit um, about these um, so called UFOs, which um, Esau demonized, which is the chariots of the Most High, according to the Bible. All right. It says, um, retired Navy pilot reveals genuine UFO pictures, not from Earth. All right, I'm getting to the article, then I'm going to get the scriptures. It says, um, a retired Navy commander releases his official statement about that one time he had a UFO encounter, witnessing a bizarre craft rising out of the ocean and flying past the, his plane. Okay, so... These chariots, man, they, they uh basically they could they could be in the sky. You know what I'm saying? They could be out of space or they could be under the in the ocean. You know? They could be like very deep, like over oh, like two thousand, three thousand deep in the sea. You know. Cause you know the 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 uh and you know, I believe the chariots don't have no type of you know, different like 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 um pressure. How long you got to be down there? Chair can be down there as long as they want to be, you know. Not like these uh, submarines, because submarines got um, a particular, a, a tip, uh, 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 what you call it, uh, a pressure time to be down. Under, you know, they don't, they, they can't be, these submarines that Esau have, they, they can't be like down in the ocean very long, you know. So it's a pressure, you know, down there. So these chairs can do that. Anyway, it says, um, on February 10th, 1951, Navy pilot officer Graham Bethren, along with his crew, was flying in a mission from Iceland to Newfoundland land. While finishing the mission, they experienced something rather in inexplicable. This event marked the whole life of the ex-Navy commander and the rest of the crew as well. To say, namely, the numbers, the members, Salaki, the members of the mission noticed a bizarre light on the ocean's watery f surface around 300 miles Newfoundland. It says these lights were so imminent and scattered throughout a large area of hence the men felt like they were flying over a city. It says... During the Disclosure Project conference in Washington, D.C. in 2001, ex-commander Bethren explained his weird UFO encounter. He said, we approached this globe and it turned to a monstrous circle of a white light. Okay. He says, on the water, then, they, then we saw a yellow halo, small, much smaller than whatever it was launched from about 15 miles away. The, in only manner of seconds, the gleaming UFO equaled their altitude. Thus, Bethuin had a free the autopilot and draw the plane's nose down in order to dodge the, a crash. But soon as the object shifted going towards them, and this is the picture encounter of a UFO, you know, with his um, retired Navy commander, how the UFO, which the chariot of the Lord, rised out the sea, past the plane, their plane, all right? So this is one of the encounters right here. It's a uh, bathroom. All right, drawing of the UFO encounter. So he drew this, the encounter, you know what I'm saying, with the chariot. It says, as the UFO approaches my plane and flew alongside it, we could see the dome craft which had a coroner discharge, he said. He said, at the same time, certain plane instruments started failing due to the powerful electro electromagnetic disruption the UFO generated. 
So man, this UFO man, this chariot man, so-called UFO man, it's it got actual uh, electromagnetic disruption. The UFO generated. So man, cause, cause, cause you know, the the chariot runs on gravity and power. Okay, he says the plane had 31 passages of of uh, is it what's a Psychiatrist, I can't pronounce this word, man. It's a um, psychiatrist, if I got it right. So lock you for that. It's a, and of course, the crew aboard, all of them watched as the event was unrolling. So the, um, they had, they had the um, 31 fat passengers on the plane watching this UFO, man. It says, as soon as the plane landed, the witnesses were questioned and pressured on signing a non-disclosure from their testimonies, however, were upheld by radar data from an Air Force station in Goose Bay, Lab Labrador. Do you believe Mr. Bethren has his, and his crew really experienced a true UFO encounter? Tell us your opinion. Well, my opinion is the scriptures, man. Okay. So a lot of people don't believe this um so-called UFO, which is the chariot of the most high, exists. Which it does, because the Lord is <clears throat> the Lord is basically um showing you that these chariots, man, is gonna be um doing some things real soon, man. Okay. But I'm gonna go to the scriptures real quick and prove that it's 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 um UFO is UFO is in the scriptures, man. The chariot, all right. Go to the scriptures real quick. Um <laughs> go to uh I'm going to go to Zechariah. See, this proved that that the um, the prophets of the Lord seen the chariot, man. Okay. This is on Zechariah chapter five, verse one. It says, "Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked. Behold, a flying roe." Okay, and that's talking about the chariot, man. This is the flying roll, man, right here. Because Zechariah, the prophet, prophet Zechariah, apostle, he um, he described it as a flying roll, all right? It says, and he said unto me, what seest thou, the angel? It said, I, and I answered, and I see a flying roll. The length thereof was is, is 20 cubits, and the bereft, the above is 10 creepy. So he described the size, the size of the um, chariot, all right? He said, then said he unto me, it says, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. So the curse, you know what I'm saying? The curse is the chariot, man, all over all over the world, man, because you understand that these chariots are going to be doing a lot of hella damage, man. You know what I'm saying? As soon as the Lord give the green light, okay? So... So basically, it's a curse, man. It's a curse to you wicked niggas and you wicked, wicked heathen nations and you Edomites. But it's a blessing, it's a salvation for us, man. For the elect, period. All right? Lord's willing. All right? They say this is the curse that goes forward over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that still it shall be cut off. But guess what? As on, as on this side, according to it. Okay? So Esau, man, he... He stole every damn thing, man. Okay, he just stole every every nation every nation's country. He just stole uh, he just stole uh Middle East. He just stole America. He then brought us in slavery. Okay, all right. Uh, he saw the, the he didn't he didn't conquer Jerusalem. Okay, all right. So the Lord the Lord's gonna he's gonna destroy. This place with his chariots, man. He's gonna destroy Esau with his chariots, man. Alright? He said, For everyone that still it shall be cut off, 
on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off on that side according to it. He says, the Lord says this, he says, I will bring it forth, says the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahashim Shai of hosts. All right, he said, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and the house of the thief is Esau. All right, like I said just now, he, he stole he stole this, um, basically, he stole everything, man, conquered everything through the sword, all right, through wickedness, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of the house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Right, he saw swear falsely by his name, man. All right, calling him um, Jesus Christ, man. All right, you know, it's, um, Caesar Bogier and all them, man. Okay, so the the Lord, the Lord is going to bring judgment to this place with the so-called UFOs, the chariots, man. All right, all right, um. Go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 4. It says, And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Okay, let's go to the word whirlwind. All right. Goes back to the Hebrew word rukha means wind, breath, mind, spirit. Let me look down real quick. Um, it says, vain, empty thing, spirit, as which the breath quickly, emanation, agitation, spirit, am uh, animation, uh, vivacity, virga, chords, temper, anger, impatience, okay? Um, spirit, disposition, trouble, bitter, <laughs> um, uncountable, accountable, or uncontrollable impulse, prophetic spirit. Okay, the Most High Spirit departed in death. Okay, see the Lord. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna bring also tempest, which is. His holy, you no, know, his um, his anger. Okay, the Lord is going to bring anger. He says, and I looked, behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud of fire, and folded in itself, and brightness was about it, and out of the mist thereof, the color of amber, and out of the mist of the fire. That's talking about the chariot, because if it say um brightness okay was about in it out of the mist thereof as color of amber okay so this basically talking about the chariot the chariot of israel chariot of yashara all right so do it have color do it have brightness all right He said, and I look, and behold, a whirlwind. Because the chariots, when they come back, man, when, they, when, when the Lord give a command, you know what I'm saying, to the angels, man, the, the, these, these, these um, chariots, man, they created, they created a lot of whirlwind, a lot of tempest, man. Okay? So the Lord is going to, the Lord is going to um, use these chariots, man, to destroy America. Okay? Because you see a lot of these UFO sightings lately and you know brothers been putting up lessons about these chariots man okay let's go to amos let's go to amos 9 and 8. it says behold the eyes of the lord yahweh yahweh by shema shai power are upon a sinful kingdom, and that's talking about America. America's a sinful ass kingdom, man. Got homosexuality, all right. You got 
You got transgenderism, all right? You got lesbianism. Right? You got you got um got these wicked niggas into this into this um this 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 rap, this um um this, this hip hop bullshit that we listen to, okay? Which it don't bother us, you know. It's it's the music is crap any damn way. So, you know, you have you have um you have a whole lot of wickedness going on, man. That I can't really explain, man. All right, this is a sinful kingdom, man. Okay. You got Esau, the devil himself, in his sinful kingdom. All right. You got all kind of you got all kind of wickedness going on, man. That's why I say. That that's why I say, behold, the eyes of the most high power upon the sinful kingdom. And that's talking about the angels. Eyes. And plus, plus the chariots. Because you got to understand that the angels is driving the chariots, man. Okay? And the Lord got these chariots watching over this sinful kingdom before he gives the green light, man. All right? Behold, the eyes of the most high power are upon the sinful kingdom. And and, and, and and that's talking about America because America is the most sinfulest kingdom in the world, man. Okay. All right. You got you got different types of homosexuality. You got you got different types of uh, game banging. You got all kind of shit going on in America, man. Okay. You got you got idol worshiping. Okay. You got <laughs> you got all kinds of stuff going on, man. Our people, our people, you know, two thirds of our people, man, they heathens. So the Lord don't destroy them too, okay? And they doing all these filthy, wicked acts, man, committing adultery. You got adultery, man. Adultery is running rapid in America, man. Okay, you got a lot of pork eating, swine eating motherfuckers. <laughs> you got all kind of stuff going on here, man. Okay, different idol worshippers, um, haters of the haters of the Most High. All right, okay. You know, people worship sports, okay? They worship um, 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 rap celebrities, movie celebrities, man. They don't talk about, see, this is a sinful kingdom, man, okay? They don't talk about righteous, this is, un, this is an unrighteous society, period, all the way around, man, okay? You got all kinds, this is a sinful kingdom. And the Lord have, these, have the angels watching over it before he gave the command to destroy this place, man. And I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Most High. Okay? So the Lord is not going to destroy the elect of Jacob, man. But he's going to destroy two-thirds of, of, Yash, of um, Jacob, man. Okay? Which y'all supposed to be princes, y'all princes of the power, but y'all wicked as hell, two-thirds of our people, man. Alright? So... So this, this is the only scripture I want to put out because the eyes of the Lord is upon the sinful kingdom because you've seen all these UFO sightings, man. All right? These angels, the angels watching over this place. And they basically, they, they actually ready to destroy this place, you know what I'm saying, through the commandment of the Lord, man. All right? Um, I'm going to go to Isaiah. Isaiah 66 and 15. It said, For behold, the Most High will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord is going to come with a whirlwind, okay? Somebody. The Lord's going to come with with the whirlwind, man. He's gonna come with the tempest. All right, because you understand these ch these chariots, they change the weather, man. Okay, they're gonna he's gonna come with earthquakes. He's gonna come with um uh different tempests, man. Um, hailstorms. Okay, he, basically the Lord is gonna use all the elements that He created to destroy the wicked, to render His anger with fury, and His rebuke with flames. Of fire, so these chariots gonna be shooting out laser beams. Okay, he's gonna use lightning, thunder, lightning. Okay, to destroy. The Lord is gonna use everything in His power. 
okay, to, to destroy you wicked niggas and you and you wicked heathen nations, okay? And the top heathen is Esau. Alright? The Lord finna come with fire and with his chariots, man. Cause these chariots shoot out concentrated heat. Cause if you ever ever seen that movie War of the Worlds, and it's talking about that in the movies, okay, and it comes from the scriptures. Cause Esau's showing you how these chariots gonna come. Okay. So this UFO sightings, man, they ain't just hovering over, you know, America for nothing, man. The Lord is basically basically um he finna give he finna give the word, man, for these chariots. They finna they finna start they finna start taking action now. Okay? So a lot of people think that it's aliens and all that shit. No, it's not, man. It's angels, man. All right? These angels are going to do a damage, man. All right? This is the last scripture, and I'm going to close on out. So I'm going to go to Nahum. So this is the characteristics of these chairs, what they're going to do. All right? Let's go to Nahum. Nahum 2 and 3. It says, the shield of his mighty men is made red, and violet men are in scarlet. Ch the chariots shall be with flaming torches in that day. And that shield of his mighty men is the angels, man. It says, of his preparation, and the fir tree shall be utterly shaken, terribly shaken. It says, the chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall justle against one another. Let's look up the word justice. So these chairs going to be raging in the streets, man. All right. Goes back to the Hebrew word halal. means um, to shine, to flash, forth light, to praise, boast, be boastful. Or boastful ones, boasters. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, to boast, glory, make one's boast, to make a fool of, to make into a fool. <laughs> so, to act madly, act like a madman. So, these chairs, man, going to be acting like a madman, man. These chairs going to go, go, go bring bring hell on this place man it's gonna it's gonna rage okay in the streets they shall just do one against another so basically they're gonna be bumping against each other just to get your ass man to run to run about rush run to and fro to be eager or greedy or thirsty thirsty these chairs gonna be thirsty. Like a nigga thirsty for a piece of ass. These chairs gonna be thirsty for you wicked niggas, man. And you wicked heathens, man. Alright? And you wicked, you wicked devils, you so-called white people, man, you Edomites, man. They shall just against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightning. Alright? It said he shall, these chairs going to run like the lightning because these chairs is all fast as hell, man. All right? These chairs going to be shooting out laser beams and concentrated heat on you people. And this is the reason why you see this chair hovering, hovering over this place. You see chariots, you see UFO sightings. You know why you see UFO sightings? Because the Lord ain't gave the command yet. He didn't give the word yet. So the Lord control these um these UFOs, man. Okay. So this is this, this showing you what these chairs gonna do <laughs> when that day come. All right. He say he shall recount his worthless. They shall stumble in their walk. They shall make haste to the wall thereof, and and the defense shall be prepared. So basically, y'all gonna be running and ducking, hide, man. Okay. Y'all gonna be running from these chairs, man. And y'all ain't gonna be able to um get away from these chairs, man. Alright.
So basically, when you see these chairs shooting these uh, concentrated heat, y'all ain't gonna y'all gonna be able to take refuge. Y'all gonna try to take refuge, but these chairs <laughs> these chairs gonna destroy you, man. All right. So uh, with that, I like to say uh, all praise and glory on to you. How about Shema was shy? I hope y'all was edified. All right. Till next time, shalom.